Hey there guys, it's War Machine 395 here with just a work in progress video on my real grade strike Kai. Um, so recently I purchased a Dremel, kind of a fun little rotary tool, and I've been practicing on that. Um, hopefully getting better on it. So the product is that uh, this is kind of like the prototype for the sword pack. Alright, so I've created a long thin blade, two handed grip, and I've actually used the grinding bit to actually create a blade on this um, and sharpen it to a point. Anyway, so two handed grip kind of inspired by the uh, armor Schneiders that the strike already comes with. So I'm going to like, uh, so this is just like the prototype. Um, I'm going to try and make another one later when I can get better at it. Um, I have completed the mods to the shoulder weapons, the sword pack and um, launcher pack for the real grade strike Kai already. Um, so basically it kind of tore apart a lot of them and they're, they're differently shaped now too. So they look quite a bit different. Um, I'm going to mow it for, for a little longer before I show you guys that. Um, it's not painted yet and they look weird. Anyway, so I have finished painting the inner frame of the real grade strike Kai as well as about like 90% of the white armor parts, but I still haven't gotten to the blue or the red. It's, it's been really slow going for paint recently just because it's been really lousy outside like rain every other day and I've been working non-stop since the beginning of the summer this is actually one of the first days off I've had so basically I've got the inner frame done and a bunch of the white armor parts but I those are just primed at this point but um so here's the inner frame that I've got done so far um on this frame I actually used um uh, let's see here in order I used a bit of Playmo Colors uh, gray primer, gray surface primer, yes. And uh, all this clearly isn't the bottle for that, but it was an excellent. It worked perfectly in my mind, anyway. Worked awesome. Um, it it kind of self smooths and whatnot. Pretty much made up for my lackluster painting skills completely. And I also used all right, many thanks, Kyle. That was greatly helpful, actually. And um, I used some of Al Alcad 2's lacquer-based primer. The black, uh, it's kind of a microfiller, too. So just got to be careful with it that it doesn't remove any details when you do use it. Um, on that, let's see here. I also used a bit of Alcad 2 steel. Um, you can kind of see it on the shoulders and the chest knees and this upper leg portion so between that and a bit of rust-oleum gray there's a dark dark gray that I used as well and it came in a spray can and it kind of exploded on me so I can't show you the can um, I don't really want to bring it in the house because it'll drip everywhere and I also use besides that um, a bit of Rylon silver, right? So nice shiny parts that you can see in the vents right here and in the lower legs down here as well as in the bottom of the feet for those boosters and whatnot. I, I think it's looking pretty good right now. Um.